Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 72 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to talk about chromatic aberration. Now, what exactly is chromatic aberration? Well, if you look at this diagram, you're out there taking pictures. You're taking a picture of Big Ben and the light is reflecting off Big Ben and it's going through the lens of your camera. Well, what your lens does, of course, it focuses the light and bends the light so it falls onto the sensor of your camera. Well, sometimes what will happen, and this is particularly true with cheaper lenses, lenses that don't have all those expensive coatings or all those extra elements, the different frequencies of light, meaning the different colors of light, will get bent at different angles. And in this case, you can see the red, the green, and the blue are being bent at a different angle from one another. And what happens is you'll get color fringing, where you might want the subject to be focused right in the middle. Sometimes, let's say the blue light will bend at a lesser angle than the green light, and you'll fringe, to, in this case, to the right. And in another instance, you might get the red light bending more at more of an angle, and you'll get this fringing to the left. So you get this color fringing, and it is actually, you know, a problem, problemsome, problemsome. It's a problem in photography because, particularly if you're going to print your images and you're going to get a rather large print, you'll see this chromatic aberration in the print, and it's not very pretty. Now. To give you another look at it, we have this, just this sign, protect your eyes. And you can see, this is kind of the effect to an extreme. You're supposed to have all three of the colors, red, green, and blue, all focused right on the exact letters that they're meant to depict, but they're fringing. They're not falling on top of one another in the proper way. So you get this, this chromatic aberration. And as I mentioned, it could be quite a problem in photography. And it's not super, super common, particularly if you use um, high quality lenses and equipment. But of course, most of us start out, we have the kit lens and sometimes the kit lens isn't the best. It doesn't have all those expensive uh, glass coatings or extra elements that help prevent this. So you'll get this chromatic aberration. Well, how do you deal with it in Lightroom? Well, go to the develop module and I have this image here and if I zoom in on the knee of the statue, if you could see here, now I'm zoomed in way in four to one, so it's a little blurry, but you could see there's this kind of blue fringe going on here. Now the chromatic aberration could be pretty much any color. It, it's, it's usually purple or green, but it could be a shade of blue, it could be cyan, it depends what is being lit in the scene. So, it, and, and it depends on the lens too. But no matter the color, you could reduce it greatly with Lightroom. So what you would do is I would zoom in like this and you would go to lens corrections. And most of us remember there's a little checkbox right here, remove chromatic aberration. Now, if you look at this, look at, the, I want you to look at this line and I'm going to click the box right now. Now you could probably see it did reduce it slightly. Now it didn't completely eliminate it. Now sometimes, particularly if it's green or purple, I found, if you click that box, it, it will get rid of it completely. But sometimes if it's not green or purple, or if it's just different lighting that, you know, different type of lens, the lens, whatever, it, it just sometimes doesn't do a, a thorough job. Now in this case here, I'm going to turn it off again, and then I'm going to turn it on. It reduced it, but it didn't eliminate it. Well, let's see if we could make it better. And to do that, we'll go to the manual tab here. And this is what this episode of Lightroom Quick Tips is all about. How do we get rid of this? Well, make sure that checkbox is checked, remove chromatic aberration. Now, you could check enable profile uh, corrections too. Um, sometimes that might help a little, but I've personally never seen that help at all. I, I check it at all times. I just always enable profile corrections. In this case, I'm going to leave it off because you see when I click it, the, the image moves a lot. And I'm going to give you a before and after, and it's going to move if I have that clipped, clicked. So I'm going to leave that unclicked just so that this stays in the same spot. And it's easier, easier for you to see that I'm actually affecting this fringing. So we're going to go back to manual. 
And you could just move the sliders around. You could see it has a purple hue and a green hue double slider. And in between these two sliders are the band of color that you're eliminating. And then you could move the amount slider of either, either, or both to eliminate that line. The better way and the way that I do it is I just get the eyedropper tool. So you just click there and you have this eyedropper tool. Now take note where these sliders are. This is the default position of the slider. You can see the amount is off, so it's really not doing anything right now. But if I take this dropper tool and I click right on that fringe, you can see it got rid of it dramatically. Now it's still there a tiny bit in spots, but I mean it reduced it a lot. You could see the sliders moved, particularly the purple amount uh, slider moved up to three and it moved the band to the left, these two sliders to the left. Now I'm going to turn this uh, whole lens correction tab off and look, I want you to look in here when I do it. So there's off and there's on. There's off and there's on. So you can see it did reduce it a lot, quite a bit. So that's it. That's really just kind of in a nutshell how you deal with chromatic aberration in Lightroom. And I hope that helps you guys. Um, you know, maybe you have some great, great image and you want to blow it up to a nice big print, but you need to get rid of that chromatic aberration. It'll make that print much that much better. So that's it. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.